Hello, this is Sean with ComicsPriceGuide.com, and today we want to talk about your public profile. As a member of Comics Price Guide, you can create a public profile that allows you to share links with friends, family, and social media so that you can share all of the books you have in your collection, the active sales that you have, and your want list for people that are looking to shop for new comics for you. So to get started, make sure that you're logged into your Comics Price Guide account. You can tell that I'm logged in because up here in the top right, I've got my member toolbar that displays my username. From here, we can actually look just a little bit lower and to the left where we see the My Collection toolbar and the My Display Case link. This My Display Case link is the link that takes you directly to your public profile. Now, while I'm logged in, I'll be able to see some settings and some uh, additional details that other people can't see, but generally, this is how you can see uh, a snapshot of your entire collection. This page contains your member rank. This also contains your profile link. So if you copied and pasted this to put it on other sites, this is how other members and uh, other family and friends would be able to find your profile. Then you've got several different aspects of your collection that you can show off. Your display case shows off your 12 most valuable comic collections for which you've uploaded custom covers. We've also got all of your eBay listings, so if you are a frequent eBay seller, you can actually list all of your eBay listings on Comics Price Guide automatically. People can also browse through your full collection, as well as your want lists and your for sale pages. So today we'll focus on two of the uh, most commonly requested features, that being the eBay listings and the display case. For eBay listings, this is an automated system that is extremely easy to set up. If you select eBay listings, you'll see there is a message here that says that you can get started by to show your eBay listings by clicking on this link. So we'll click on this, and it'll take us to our settings page where we can integrate our eBay feed by simply putting in our eBay name. So go to your eBay page, make sure that you've got your full username, paste it into this box and click update name and you'll be ready to list all of your eBay listings on comicspriceguide.com. The second feature is the display case which is available to our silver and gold members. The display case is useful for selling and allows you to upload your custom covers so that you can show potential buyers that you actually have the book and give them a little bit of detail about the kind of cover condition that it's in. So for example, right now I've got only one book of, for which I've uploaded a custom cover and it is being displayed here with the grade that I put it in and the total value of the book. If I wanted more books to show up in my display case, I would have to upload the custom covers for those books. So I'll show you how that process would work now. So for example, we'll go with Spider-Man number one, which is a book that we have. We'll go to the search bar and search for Spider-Man one. This will take us to our search results where we can see the Your Collection tab, which will show us all the books that we have in our collection. Spider-Man number one right here at the top. If we click on this link, it'll take us to our title page, which will give us all of the value information and all of our functionality to edit and update the display for the book. So on this page, we will want to check on My Collection. In my collection, this shows all books that are available in your collection. If you're frequently editing your books and you want to make changes often, you can toggle this option to always show this tab by default to reduce one of the clicks that you need to get to this page. Once you're here, however, you can see the issues that you have, the value, what you paid for them, whether they're grading, whether they're graded, whether they're autographed, and what box they're in. And this is the functionality you can use to change the settings. If you need to sell the book, you use this one. If you need to edit it, you can click on this and immediately change the settings for the book. And of course, what we are looking to do today is upload the custom cover, which is done with this button here. So we'll click on this and it will ask us to upload a file. We do recommend that with these files, you make a point to upload only your custom cover. Don't upload a stock cover or some of the book art. Uh, try to make it a scan of the book itself. This will help prove that you do actually own the book and will also give potential buyers an idea of the condition for the cover. Make sure that it is also a .jpg file 
as that is the most ideal format. And once you upload it, depending on the file size, it might take uh, just a few seconds. But once it is complete, then you will get the message that your image has been successfully uploaded. At this point, you may have noticed that underneath my uploaded covers, I now have my cover, which I had just uploaded. This, whenever you click on it, it'll show you that cover and also allow you to delete it if you want to. So if you need to delete the book, that you would click on the cover and then click on Delete Scan. Over here, you can return to viewing the stock cover if you wish by clicking on the eyeball. Clicking on the eyeball again will show you that cover for that book. So let's go back and look at our display case. We'll go back up to the top and select the My Display Case link. Scroll down and now we see that Spider-Man number one has been added to my display case. These are displayed in order of the total value. So this one is worth $8 and this one's worth $240. So that is the order that in which they're displayed. So once you get a large collection, you'll see the top 12 and uh, ultimately you'll be able to show off all of the most valuable books in your collection. Hope this has been helpful and we will have more updates as soon as we make them available.